Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Azuli Entertainment, bringing you another episode of Timelines and Theories, where today we will be timelining and theorizing about The Crafting Dead, episode 53 through 56. A good four episodes, so let's just get right into it. We start off with episode 53, Herobrine's Horrible Tests Missing. Now, uh, they've gone to Herobrine's base after deciding to work for him. And they have to prove themselves to Herobrine by going through his twisted mansion that used to be the Ogre's Mansion, like, a bunch of episodes ago. A long, long, long time ago. Uh, actually not too long, but a pretty long time ago. So, they have to go through and they have to fight many zombies. They find unkillable zombies, which Herobrine has created to be one of their final tests. And they go through it. Otherwise than that, it's not that an eventful episode. They just fight through the tests. But at the end, it gets pretty eventful. They find Herobrine, and it turns out Herobrine has a new right-hand man. And that, of course, is the evil, deranged, insane in the membrane, Lenny. Dun-dun-dun! And Lenny's like, ha you work for me now. I'm gonna make your lives terrible. ha 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 And Pat and Jen are like, I don't think we made the right decision coming to work for Herobrine. Uh-oh. Uh, other than that, that episode had not too much in it, which leads us into episode 54, The Crazy Wither Missing. Now, in this mission, Herobrine gives Lenny the task of training and testing Pat and Zen. Now, what does Lenny decide to do? Lenny decides that they need more super-duper clones, and so to make super-duper clones... They would need wither stars. So, Pat and Jen are forced to go into the nether and fight three withers, which they defeat. On the way back, they also kill a, uh, char- uh, well, they kill a mutant creeper, which is all good and dandy, and they give the three nether stars, and Lenny's like, yes, I will make good clones of them. And now here's where things get real. We get to episode 55, Stealing from Our Friends Missing. Now, Pat and Jen are tasked by Lenny to go back to their base, their old base, and steal their friend's possessions to be used in the cloning process. Uh, Pat and Jen reluctantly agree and go back to steal from their base. They, uh, everybody continues to act like they really are evil, just so Hero Brian won't realize that Pat and Jen are actually double agents. So what happens? First, they go to Valentine's and they take a letter from him. This letter was from several episodes ago, telling and Valentine sending a letter to them telling him that they are safe. So, that uh, since uh, Valentine wrote it, he has his DNA on it. They go up to Evil Jen's uh, throne and take her chicken sword away uh, from a chest next to her because the chicken sword has Evil Jen's DNA on it. Third of all, they go into the old prison, uh, and they find some co uh, some of Honey Boo Boo's cookies. They rub the cookies on Honey Boo Boo, so they have her Honey Boo Boo DNA to make Honey Boo Boo clones. After that, they proceed to go to Chad's uh, area, and Chad's like, leave my family alone. But after fighting off several security zombies down his little hideout, they're able to take Fred, one of his skulls, as DNA. They return these to Lenny, and Lenny's like, Okay, you guys did good. You're not as stupid as I thought you were. And that's how the episode goes. And now for the most recent episode. Episode 56, The Giant Clone Monstrosities Missing. Dun-dun-dun! So, Herobrine reveals that there is a another village close to his old house, the Massive Skull. This socks patents in because they thought that their group of survivors were the only survivors in the world, but turns out they're not alone. But they're tasked in going and killing everybody in that village. So they go, and they're greeted by the fact that they go and kill most of the guards, and it it's revealed that they have created, well, Herobrine has created massive giant clones of several of the cast members, including a massive Chad, a massive Carter, and a massive Evil Jin, with a few others around there. So they're just massive. They make, uh, I believe, from episode 52, the massive super zombie. I'm pretty sure it was Herobrine's monstrosity. It, it, they're a 
maybe even bigger than Herobrine's monstrosity. They are monsters, and they are terrifying. Uh, so they go around, they meet several people. There are only about three people in the whole village since everyone else has evacuated. They end up killing the librarian because he was a jerk, but they spare the others. But after they uh, uh, killed the guards and they uh, have done all their looting and stuff, they're forced to do what Herobrine said they had to do. They had to blow up the village, uh, which uh, they destroyed it using uh, compressed C4, like compacted C4, and they just blew the whole thing sky high. And this is a pretty jerky thing to do. We don't, uh, we know the librarian's dead because Pat sought him. But the farm girl that they met and the rich man that they met still have the possibilities to be alive. Uh, but you never really know. So that brings us through all of the timelines. So now let's get into the theories. Now I'm going to bring this up in every video until it happens. But Pat and Jen, please make evil Pat happen. I want there to be an evil Pat. That would be hilarious. But into the real theories. Well, we've gotten... On episode 56, we've gone saying that we have not seen through that the entire series the prospect that there are other living humans still in the world. Uh, so there are a few people there. They say that uh, the people in the village said that their uh, fellow villagers have escaped. So that means there are most likely still living people out there somewhere. Uh, but for the people inside the rich man and the farming girl... I, I'm not sure about their survival. I kind of think they're dead because they uh, there's not a huge reason to keep them alive because they had like a minute of screen time each. Though I think the rich guy might be alive because I know that they always, if a character stays alive, they stay alive because they have a good and funny personality. And I think the rich guy does have enough of a personality to warrant uh, Pattinson keeping him alive in the series. But... I honestly can't say if they're alive or dead. It would make it seem that they're dead because their base got blown up, but for all we know, they left uh, before it blew up. And uh, with these new giant zombies, they're explosive-proof, according to Hero Brian. So they're really dangerous. They can't be blown up by explosions. They, uh, they're giant, massive clones. This is a really bad thing that Hero Brian's got, and it's, it's pretty dangerous. I think that these guys could potentially be a very major uh, villain in the series. I think that maybe what will happen is maybe they'll become the bosses. Like, every five or so episodes, we have, like, a mega boss that they have to fight. Like, at the beginning of the series, they had to fight Bob when they nuked his house. Uh, they had, in episode 52, they had to fight the supermassive uh, Herobrine's monstrosity. Every once in a while, they have to fight... Uh, a giant monster to continue. It's kind of like a season finale, except it's once every like five episodes and it's not the end of the season because I'm not sure if they're going to do seasons. I hope the series continues for a long time. But one major theory is how is the overarching story of the killer going to go? I think that as the series is going on, I think that eventually Hero Brian is going to be succeeded by Lenny. Lenny is an evil psychopath, and I think eventually he'll probably overthrow uh, Herobrine, or Pat and Jen will kill Herobrine, and Lenny will take his place being worse than ever, because Lenny, I think he's going to end up being the big villain of the series, at least eventually, because we know that the main villains never stay the main villains forever. Like, at the beginning of the series, Bob was the main villain, but he's turned good. Uh, Valentine was the killer for a while, but then it turned out he was being hypnotized. Uh, uh, Haas, you could say, was the main villain for, like, one episode when he revealed he was bad and he locked them up. Uh, like, two episodes, really, but that was just him working for Hero Brian. But the main villain never stays the same for too long, and I, I'm thinking Hero Brian's probably been the main villain longer, and probably most of the other main villains have been in the series. So I can tell the end is probably coming from... He's not going to be a part of the series for much longer, I believe. I think Lenny's going to stop him and defeat him and become the new hero, Brian. Lenny Brian! Yeah, that needs to happen. Lenny needs to get white eyes and become Lenny Brian. Okay, everybody needs to send a comment to popular MMOs. Tell them that Lenny Brian needs to be a thing. That would be awesome. That's another theory that there's going to be a Lenny Brian.
and what's going to happen to the rest of the people. So far, my original accusation a few uh, episodes ago that they were uh, k- going to kill a bunch of other characters off was false. It seemed like they were going to go in that direction, but then they decided not to because they started with the hero Brian going to kill all your friends thing. They killed Skittles. They killed other people. But then they kind of stopped at the killing. I expected they were going to greatly reduce the amount of people in the series, which I think it's kind of good that uh, they didn't kill off too many people uh, because there's a lot of good characters that I really enjoy, like the Disguised Man and Honey Boo Boo and Jelly Bean and Carter. So I think the whole point of the killing off of the characters wasn't really to kind of revitalize the series. But it was kind of like pruning a tree, taking off the parts that weren't good. Skittles was a useless character. Uh, most of the ogres were pretty useless characters. They had no reason to be in the series anymore, so they got rid of them. And if that same logic continues, I hope eventually the mayor will get killed off. Because at first, I kind of wanted the mayor to get killed off because he's a very basic and bland character. And it would have made room for a new character that's really interesting. But now I really want the mayor to die because then uh, Jen will be forever the mayor of the world. And that that would be wonderful. I want uh, Jen to become the mayor of everything. So I'm just hoping the mayor will get killed off and Jen will become the new mayor forever. Because that would be pretty cool. Well, that's all i got to talk about these four episodes. What did you think about this episode? Do you have any theories about these four episodes? What do you think is going to happen next time? I really love this series. It's one of my favorite series on the internet. I'm just having a ball watching it. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment in the section below. Like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Zulie Entertainment. And goodbye.